throughout this entire movie, I did not guess at all what was going to happen. When you guys were reading the scripts, did that happen to you or did you actually figure out who did it? I I don't know. For me, when I read the script, it was it was something where I remember I read it from, and from the first page to the last page, I was just engaged in, in every moment and everything that was happening. So by the time I got to the end, it, it, I don't know, it didn't feel like I had been waiting for an answer. It just felt like I was at the end of this really interesting journey. Yeah, for sure. No, I definitely didn't guess the ending yeah. um, because it's so intricate and it's mm. far beyond who done it, you know? Um, I think that's what makes this movie unique and special. I can't say too much, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's so hard because you don't want to ruin anything. Yeah. You're like, yeah. we're going to give tips on accidents. You're like, oh, I know who it is then. Mm -hmm. So talk to me about being part of this deceiving family. I feel like every every family has its troubles, but these people kind of, you know, they take, they take the cake. It's a very dysfunctional. Yeah, very dysfunctional. Lord family. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, the sad that it, it is kind of sad though to see their reaction. They're not able to, um, not, not appreciate, but uh, yeah, appreciate uh, their grandfather's life or their father's life, and um, celebrate that through his death. They're focused on his wealth and who's going to get it and who's going to get his fortune. And I think that's a really devastating thing. And um, um, but it makes for a beautiful movie experience to see their reactions. Mm. And I feel like your character is maybe the only one who has a little bit of a soul who wants to, <laughs> who wants to, to you know, it, it, do something yeah. good for other people. I mean, I think, I think every, every character you play is flawed because every human being on the planet is flawed. Um, but I think one of the things I found really attractive in terms of Meg's character when I read the script was that you have this very distinctive family and a family that comes from sort of almost inconceivable wealth and privilege and there comes a lot of problems with that but you know it's a very kind of upper echelon family so to have someone who is tied to that but then who also is trying I think I think almost in a way she's apologetic for that and trying very hard to compensate the kind of what that means and it, like the adversity of that by you know being socially active, being socially aware, and the pull between those two worlds um, was something that really attracted me because I think it it left her with giving a lot of heart, and her relationship in particular with Marta, I think it it did have a lot of heart, and again was that pull between these two worlds that she she's trying to kind of do what is right and walking that very fine line. Now I feel something that Ryan did great was he he gave us characters that they were completely like typed typecast against. You have, you know, James Bond as this, you know, suave um, detective, and then you have Captain America as somebody very interesting in this. What was it like to kind of see Chris kind of dive into that? Yeah, it was fun seeing him be a jerk. Um, yeah. Especially uh, <laughs> meeting him in real life and him being a sweet person. But I think that's how it goes for everyone. Everyone was able to play these kind of unlikable characters and then to see the difference uh, between them as as kind people was really interesting and, but that's what makes them the talented actors they are mm. yeah. okay. I gotta say congratulations